Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trading. So... We'll start by looking at the um, S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit in the S&P 500. We are still trading um, at 3,668. And I think it's just a matter of time before we break 3,700. We are, um, technical indicators are fairly bullish for this market. There's still a lot of room to the upside. And um, December usually is a very bullish month because people spent... Um, more um, than they usually do. But even though we should break down from here, then 3,588, which is the previous highs over here, should offer significant um, support. And that is basically a buying opportunity. So every major pullback of 1.5% 1, 1 even or 2%, even better, are major buying opportunities because we are going to enter... A new uptrend. Um, last time, um, well, Barack Obama or and and um, and uh, Biden basically took office. We had the longest bull run in basically human history. There are added three trillion dollars to the markets, and if it's something that markets care about, is basically liquidity. That is it. It is only liquidity, and that liquidity, that cheap capital is going to basically um, wrap up this stock market for the foreseeable future. So we'll target both 3,700, 800, 900, and probably 4,000 within the next probably three, four months. So let's look at the technical indicators. And as you can see, they are all looking fairly uh, bullish. So expect this market to go higher. Every pullback is basically a buying opportunity at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. And as you can see, we have also um, actually pulled back a little bit and then rallied. We are in this tight range in Dow Jones at this point. Um, there is a lot of room to the upside. We're at 56 in the Dow Jones. Um, technical indicators are a little bit more um, bearish in the Dow Jones than they are for the S&P 500. But even though we break down from here, this 29,274 level will offer significant support. So getting close to this level here is a major buying opportunity for the Dow Jones in offer. So when we break this level, we'll head towards um, 13,500 and then even higher than that. So 31,000, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ was a little bit mixed today. It was expected for NASDAQ to fall a little bit. So we're down 0.04. We were down roughly half a percent. Uh, but we found resistance support here at 12,300, uh, roughly uh, that area. And uh, we could actually see a little bit more a pullback in the NASDAQ uh, tomorrow or probably on Friday. But on Friday, I'm expecting this market to rally even further, even to break this top. So um, expect a pullback tomorrow. That is basically a buying opportunity. The closer you basically get to 12,000 or 12,100, basically the cheaper this gets because getting close to the 20 expansion moving average here will be absolutely enormous support and this will just explode to the upside. So MACD at this point is bullish. CCI is, is looking more bearish. The same goes for the stochastic is also looking more bearish. And the, the RSI is also heading in the other direction. So we probably will see a little bit more of a pullback, but that is basically a buying opportunity at this stage. So if you look at the, at the big tech stocks, we'll start by looking at Netflix. So Netflix is down 0.13, uh, but we are trading above the 50 moving average. We broke down quite significantly and then rallied again. Um, at this point, we may stay here for a while. 
The MACD is quite bullish, but the RSI, CCI, Stochastic, they are all looking more bearish. So it may take some, a, a while before we go into the old AM highs. But even though we break down from here, the 150 moving average at 482 is absolutely enormous support. So getting even close to this moving average here is just a buying opportunity. You actually just move this up towards this area here because that is really the floor in this market. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft pulled back towards the 50, then rallied again. And at this point, this is a, a stock that is just ready to um, explode to the upside. The very lows of this market are the 50 moving average, and that is at 212. The very highs are 232. So there's a lot of room to the upside. It has been fairly slow moving, but it's just a matter, matter of time before we see candlesticks similar to this one. So definitely a buyer in this market. So Apple is also, it was down but then it, um, it rallied again. We're up 0.07 at this point. Um, technical indicators are looking fairly good for Apple. We may see a little bit of turnaround. If we get close to the 20 exponential, that gives us a major opportunity basically to buy this again. So we are targeting, first of all, these highs at 20, uh, 125, and then the very highs here of 138. This is um holiday season and there is going to be a lot of buying of this product both in stores and also online however if we turn around from here the very lows that we can go to are uh, is at 113 that is the 100 moving average so let's look, let's look at amazon and as you can see, we broke down a little bit and then rallied again. We are trading above the 50 moving average. And this is probably a stock that is going to stay within this range for some time. The reason for that is basically the, the, the stochastic is turning around. But the MACD is still bullish. So technical indicators here are fairly all over the place. It is, that's the reason why also we're staying within this small range here. So I do expect this market to go higher, especially Amazon, because more and more people will buy online this Christmas and not go to the store. And that will basically also be true Amazon. So this is a stock that you just hold because this, it will rally at some point to these very highs. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla broke down significantly today. We are down 4.15%. And at this point, um, we are basically ready to go a little bit lower, probably down towards the 20 exponential moving average. We can see that we are significantly overbought at this point, but the lower that we basically get, um, the better, because this is a stock that is going to go higher. It is just having a pullback now. This is one of the most popular stock there is out there, and people will buy it at technically any price. So 50 moving average is the very lows here. So 448 is the very as low as this market basically will go. Um, I think that at, at around 507, that will probably be as far as this goes. That's also the previous highs here. And then, yes, that's probably where this market will go. We can see that the uh, MACD sarcastic everything is basically turning around. So that is basically where we are heading. So looking at Facebook, Facebook rallied all the way up towards 291 and then um, pulled back a little bit. Um, at this point, we may just stay within this uh, area a little bit. We probably have a pullback towards the 20 before we go even higher. So you could hold on to this. You could also sell it now, buy it around this area here and then target these highs again. So that is basically possible for this stock but definitely this is going to be really bullish in december so looking at google google rallied 1.81 percent today and we have basically taken out these highs and now we are continue, going to continue higher so 1900 is the target at this point um there is no reason that to expect that this is going to fall at this area 
we are a little bit stretched now in the bullish band, uh, but other technical indicators are very bullish, so expect this to go higher. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest, newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.